Rattle in tongues for a few seconds right now. Just pray in the spirit. Just pray in the spirit. This is the rebat conference you prayed about. This is the rebat conference you fasted about. This is the rebat conference you've been longing for. This is the day. This is the day. The devil has done everything possible for you not to be here. For this meeting not to hold. But here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. You are here because God wants to hear. You are here because God wants to walk in your life. There is no impossibility with our God. There is no impossibility with our God. This is the rebirth conference. This is the rebirth conference. This is the rebirth conference. You have not come to see man. He came to have come to spectate. You are a spectator. That's fine. But for those who have come to see God, I want to give you a few minutes to talk to God. In case you have come, what is like here? Yeah. It's fine. Keep seeing. You've gotten your reward. But for those who have come for divine encounter, for those who want their life to change forever, for those who want to receive empowerment, for those who want to receive insight, knowledge, wisdom, for those who want to receive spiritual strength, for those who want to have clarity, get direction. It's time. It's time. Speak to God right now. This is the Bath Conference. This is it. God is working already. Moving mighty in our midst. Moving mighty in our midst. You don't have to wait till tomorrow. You don't have to wait till Sunday. You can get your answered results. Yeah, right now. Because it has started already. The miracles has begun. You are watching online. Don't talk with this moment. Don't watch. Don't just say what is happening again. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. So that those situation can be turned around. You can tell God, I don't want to come back next year the same. I don't. Probably will be coming every year, same way. Listen to me. Anna has been going to Shiloh every year. No results, no pass, no failure. Looking for the fruit of the womb. She never had it for years. Since when she has been married, for something happened. There was a particular Shiloh that she went to. And everything changed. This is the Gibbard Conference. That God is answering your prayer. That God is turning things around for you. It does not matter how long you have failed. It does not matter what people call you. It does not matter how long you have tried. And hand has come to it. Probably they have given you a name. Like Anna. That she's barren. It does not matter the name people have called you. But the battle of this rebirth conference, that name is changing. That name is changing. That name is changing. It's not time to go low. It's not time to let your voice be down low. This is the time to labano. This is the time to receive. This is the time. This is the time. God is now amidst. The King of Kings now amidst. The Lord of Lords now amidst. And is ready to walk. We have paid, we have fasted. And we already see signs that is in us. Ba 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 
God is giving you a plain check tonight. A plain check. What are you writing on it? Hey! What are you writing on it? I see a plain check. I see a plain check. This is as far as you can see. Is how much you can ask. I hope somebody is asking. God is giving a plain check. Don't go for this moment. A plain check has been given. A plain check. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Father, I will give you the praise. I will give you the honor. Thank you, Lord. For we know certainly and assuredly that we are not coming back next year the same. I said you are not coming back next year the same. One of the proof of the one grace church is that we have answered prayer. Yes, sir. Your own will not be difficult for God to do. Amen. You will not have unanswered prayer in this rebirth conference. Amen. Every prayer you will pray, you will testify. Amen. Every supplication, every request that you make. See, you know, there are times that you make the prayer so loud people can hear. But there are some secret prayer that nobody even hears when you are praying it. Deep down your heart. But God will listen to it and he will give you testimony. Amen. Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you for the Bath Conference 2024. Thank you, Jesus. thank you for what we begin to do. Jesus. We love you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. And we are ready for more. Yes, Lord. We are ready for more. Ready. We are ready for more. Fill us up, Lord. Amen. Fill us up, Lord. Amen. For everyone that come here tastes, you will be filled in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever you have come here with, whatever, whatever, for God is here in our midst and the Spirit of God is moving mightily in now to every situation, to every circumstances, meeting every needs right now. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we go into your world tonight like never before. Let everyone under my voice be blessed by this teaching. Amen. All that you said you are going to do through this rebirth conference, begin to do right now. Amen. And let the miracle begin. Let everyone under my voice be edified. Amen. And you alone be glorified. Amen. And let devil be terrified. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Can I hear a resounding amen? amen? Can I hear it louder? Amen. Come on, give your head by high five and say you are welcome to the past conference of the four. Make somebody feel welcome. Tell them you are welcome, you are welcome, you are welcome. This is the past conference that you heard about. That your life will be forever changed. Look to your neighbor and say, look at me very well. Today is the day that my life is forever changed. Just look at me very well. Because you will remember this day. And you will flash back and say, is this me? Is this you? Come on, is that your life? Is that your life? Is that your life? Come on, Richard! Glory to God! Glory to God! Listen to him. As I know God will use me in this rebirth conference. But much more, me, I am ready for what God wants to do. If you notice all my prayer, every every word for us, I've been saying it. All that God will do through me and for I don't know about you. 
So even as you are serving, hey, yes, don't talk with it. Yes, are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes, Serve as much as possible, yes, but ensure that you are praying. Yes, there is a reward for service. Yes, but the reward of service is different than where you pray. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes, ensure that you pray. Yes, ensure that you labano when prophecy comes out. Yes, are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes, Tell your neighbor, are you ready for the word? Come on, please have your seat. Glory to God. Love you too. Glory to God. Listen to me. You will be blessed in this year about conference. Good to see you. Anna Olua. Glory to God. I want to use this medium to welcome everyone of you to church. Alex, I see you. Glory to God. You're welcome. Everyone present here, I appreciate you. I celebrate you. Please, can you help me celebrate TOGC workforce? <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Listen to me. Where the devil likes to not? I've got the best workforce on earth. Glory to God. <laughs> you know, I've been out of town and things have just been going so fine. And, you know, even when I came, I, just, I was just hearing good reports. And the Bath Conference Committee did awesomely well. Glory to God. Can you celebrate them? I entered the church. I was asking, ah, is this the same church? Glory to God. You know, why, why come in? And I was streaming live. And I, and I saw the, I said, is there a screen behind me? Glory to God. <laughs> Seriously, you need to go online and go and check. It's different from what you are seeing here. I'm telling you the truth. It's different. It's different. And I was like, ah, I have to pause and look at the page I have again. Ah. I said, ah, this is PM now, this is Boya Dane now. What's going on? Let's celebrate the Rebirth Conference Committee. <laughs> Everyone that has given for this year conference, God will bless you Amen. mightily in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is the least you will ever give. Amen. Do you hear what I just said now? Yes, it's down for you. Yes, this is the least you will ever give. It's the least. And for those of you who have not given, it's a good time to give. Glory to God. Amen. Are you ready for the word? Yes, now, tonight... I'll be laying the foundation for the teaching for this Rebirth Conference. So that's all I'll be doing for tonight. And um, like you know that my sermon is not always long, but I try as much as possible to lay proper foundation. Someone is playing with my voice. Please, Mida, don't do this, please. That by the time I'm done with the teaching, your life will never remain the same again. So the teaching is just one teaching, but I try to break it into peace. So in case you plan to miss tomorrow morning, then you have missed. Glory to God. Amen. In case you plan to miss, then you have what? Then you have missed. Sincerely. Because they are, is it, is it, one, is it one teaching. Glory to God. And in case you plan to miss tomorrow evening teaching and service, then you have missed a lot. Because all I would do is just give you a snippet. This, just more. Just more. And by the time I'm done, I will ask you a question sincerely. And I want to hear a response. Glory to God. So the theme for this morning is what? Yeah. Of this year, back is what? Yeah. Heirs of glory. Heirs of glory. So what does heirs mean? What does it mean to be heirs? It means that you are the rightful, the rightful owner. Rightful. It's not illegal. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So when they say, my son is my heir, it means that what? All that I have is what? It belongs to him. Everything that I have belongs to him. That even when I live, he inherits what? Everything that I have. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So when we say heirs of glory, what do we mean? Open your Bible with me to book of Romans 6. Romans 6. We start getting from verse 16. Are you in church with your Bible? Ensure that no one is distracting you and don't distract anyone. Romans 6 verse 16. The Bible says, Then the Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. What does the Bible say? He says the Spirit does what? That it bears witness with what? With our spirit. That what? That we are the children of God. Are we reading the same thing? Eight, sorry. Okay. 
Okay, Romans 8, 16. Sorry. Are we there? So the Bible says, Then the Spirit himself bears what? Witness with our spirit. That what? That we are the children of God. Verse 17. This is where I'm going to. Verse 17. The Bible says, And if children, then heirs. Now listen. Who are heirs? The children of what? Of God. Do I have children of God in the house? Do I have children of God in the house? See, paraventure, you are not yet a child of God. There's a, there's a need for you to be. Are you getting what I'm saying now? There is a need for you to be. And that is the purpose of Rebirth Conference. First of all, to get men saved. To get men to know Christ. To know who God is. So, if paraventure, you are in this service and you don't know who God is. You are in the right place. Glory to God. There is a need for you to know God for who he is. There is a need. And in case you have been saved, there is a need for you to come to revelation and knowledge of God. So you can know that there is more to God. You can know there is more. And he said what? And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and what? Joint heir with Christ. Glory to God. Say we are joint heir with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, there we may also be glorified to God. Glory to God. So as a believer, say your neighbor that I am joint heir with Christ. I'm the heirs of God. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So, as heirs of God, it means that you are a child of God. Say, I am a child of God. Say, I'm a child of God. Now, do you know what it means to be a child of God? I don't want you to see it theoretically. I want you to begin to imagine it. Have a picture of who God is. Are we going to church? Come home, come home, come home. Have a picture. Can you just imagine who God is? Who is God? Who is God? Who is God? The Bible says you are his child. You are his child. You are his child. I don't want to drop my notes. But listen, that means everything that God can do. If you are his child, what does it mean? I can't hear your voice. What does it mean? Listen to me. If you are his child, everything that God has who have it. Oh, are you getting what I'm saying, church? Yes, if you are God's child, everything that He has who have it. I have it. Except you not being born, you I are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Drop my notes. Listen, let me let me let me say this. God is God to everyone. What do I say? God is God to everyone, but He is not father to everyone. There is a difference. What do I say? God is what? Is God to everyone. He is the one that created the heaven and the earth. But the God we are talking about now is not that just God. We are talking about God as your father. So he is God of the heads. That's why that he created everyone. When rain falls, what does it where does it fall? On everyone. When sun shines, who does it shine on? On everyone. When wind blows, who does it blow on? on so, those are benefits that God created you. So, because you are created by God, you enjoy those benefits. Now, listen. If that is all that you enjoy, then you are not yet son. There is more. Are you getting what I'm saying now? There is more. So, if unbeliever is enjoying sun, rain, and breeze, and that is all that you enjoy, hey, are you truly a child of God? I, are you going somewhere? And that is why we are here. That is what I have come to do in this rebirth conference. To open your eyes to who you are. And that is my teaching for tomorrow morning. But tonight, I want to open your eyes to who your father is. Glory to God. Say, I know who my father is. I know who my father is. I know who my father is. Open your Bible with me to Galatians 4. Galatians 4. Galatians 4, starting reading from verse 1. Galatians 4. The Bible says, Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, does not differ at all from a slave, though he is master, he is lord of all. NKJV, please. All through. He says, This guy. He is a what? He is the heir. He owns these things. 
they are his own. They belong to him. But as long as he is a child, there is no difference between him and slave. Listen to me. Many Christians have been a child for so long. That's why, see, the time children of God has keep you enslaved. So you don't even know your rights. You don't even know what you can do. But as long as you remain a child, you can't express the best of God. That is why you see people who does great and mighty things are not just called children of God. Are you getting what I'm saying now? It's just in humility and humbleness. Are you getting what I'm saying now? But when you look at them, you see them as father. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Listen to me. I, you are not just a child. You are not just, you are an heir. And there is more. He said, as long as he is a child, he does not differ at all from a slave. Though he is what? He is the master of all. Though he owns all. Though all belongs to him. Though he is supposed to be enjoying it. But because he is a child. I don't like to use myself as personal example, but let me just say it tonight. I have a son who is just seven, seven years plus. There's nothing I have that he does not have. Are you getting what I'm saying now? But as long as he's a child, I can't give him my, my khaki. Is it because I don't love him? Are you getting something now? Is it because I don't love him? No, I love him. I love him. But he's a child. Even though the car is. If he, if he tried to start it and change the gear and talk to what happened, he will have accidents and kill himself. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Because he is a child. Listen to me. The reason why many of you cannot do the miraculous, cannot walk in power, is because you are still a child. God wants to use you mightily and greatly. God wants to walk through you, but there is a limit. The money you are praying for, if God gives you now, what happens? You know, go come to church again. Are you get what I'm saying now? If God answered that your prayer now, will you still serve God? Will you still serve God? So, some of you, God is saving you from you. <laughs> are you get what I'm saying, church? God is trying to protect you from you. He said, as long as he's a child, so though he's master of all. There is a limit to what he can have access to. Next verse, verse 2. Let me show you something. We are going to verse 7 media. But he is under a guardian and still words. Until the time by approved by what? Approved by the father. He can't have access to those things. Even though he holds them. So who is enjoying those things? The guardian. Next verse, verse 3. Now listen, he said, even so we, when we were what? We were children, we were in bondage under the elements of the world, of the world. Please follow me. Who was in bondage? A child that is heir to everything that his father has. Because he does not even know. There are things my son doesn't know that he has because he's still a child. Are you get what I'm saying now? There are things that I can't tell him that he has now. Are you, I can't even just tell him that, see, you have access to this thing. Are you get what I'm saying now? Because the moment you tell him, he will tell you every day. <laughs> Do, you it's like, Do you know I have this money? Do you know I have this? That's where children are. So that information is even with aid from him. So listen to me. He said, we were children, but in bondage under the elements of this world. So we did not know we are God's child. So many believers don't know they are God's child. They don't know. We have not come to that knowledge. You know it theoretical, but you have not begun to live in the fullness. You have allowed people to define God for you. You have allowed unbeliever divine God for you. You have allowed Instagram and Facebook to tell you about who your father is. No. 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 You have allowed people who does not even know who God is to tell you about God. To tell you about his nature. 
about what he can do, how much he loves you, how much he cares for you, how he can kill and destroy. Recently, something turned on social media, and I see many Christians too laughing, saying, Lamba, 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 that I am choosing, that those testimonies are not real. And I was like, do people know who God really is? That is the reason why you are not experiencing the miraculous. When you doubt it, you can never experience it. When you don't believe it, you can never experience it. I am ready for all that God can do. The impossibility. The impossibility. Listen to me. This rebirth conference is a miracle that we are having it. You might not know, but let me give you a lumber. Listen. As we are withdrawing the morning, and it's about to finish. Another one is coming. The money never finished. Listen, listen. Listen, it is a lamp I'm giving you. It's your own. But it's a testimony for me. I was telling you to the way we're coming. As once they come, say, sir, money has finished. We don't have any money again. The moment he's saying it, another one is coming. Are you getting what I'm saying now? That is the miraculous. See, somebody is carrying and say that pastor has given lamba. Then let the let him give us proof. Keep waiting. You will not share your own. Who will, before you finish spending one, another one will come. Who believes it? Amen. Who believes it? Amen. That's what the Bible says. He said you will make room for more. Before you finish spending one, another one will come. Is that your life? Yes, Enjoy that number for the rest of your life. And begin to share the testimony that from this year in Bath Conference, I am no longer stranded in life. As the need arises, they are being met. As the need arises, they are being met. Are you, don't allow anybody to define God for you. They don't even know who God is. They don't know. How? Somebody is sharing testimony of how God has saved him. How God miraculous put them. And you are saying, hey, now lie. Give us proof. Give us proof. I don't understand. Even Jesus Christ came, they say he was not God. <laughs> I don't know. Even Jesus Christ came to head. God manifest in woman form. There was, even with all the proof, with all the miracle, come, come, come. Kiss him. Mwah. Now him, arrest him. Nail him to the cross. They look at fool. Bastard. Kill him. They, they came, they said, come. Release, we want to release some, today there is a special grace to release someone. Should we release this guy or this sinner? This thief. I said, please, Release the thief. This guy is a bastard. So you are asking for proof. They killed Jesus with all the proof that is God in human flesh. So they are saying, give us proof. Give us proof. You will wait for heaven and never see a miracle. See, listen to me. Let me tell you something. I just imagine it. I just told my wife now. God sent me to somewhere. I refused to go. Then on the way as I'm driving, they just kidnapped me for three days and threw me inside water. Do you understand? For three days, inside water, inside belly, fish belly. Whose kind of lamb be that one? Do you understand? What would you say? You say, ah, that pastor don't go camp with another woman. Is that what you say? Na lie. In your whose kind of fish? What kind of fish is that? You read that story, you believe it. You read it, you believe it. And you are dating proofs, people's miracles and testimony. Something is wrong with you. Does that, does that, does that sound? Do you know even science was saying, say that shark, their throat is small. I asked, I said, are you the one that created the shark? The one that created the shark. Create a special one. A special species. You, you are comparing, say, the science. Science wants to tell me about my God. I, no. Science can't tell you about God. What happened to women who are barren, who have reached menopause age, and they conceive when science says they cannot give birth again? And you want science to prove that God? Listen to me, listen to me. Naman, Naman, Naman. Leprosy bit in the river and got cleansed. No therapist, no surgery. When he comes back home, they will ask him, no, where, who did the surgery? If it's not, they'll be asking. 
who did surgery. That's why you are dying in that sickness. Small pimples is spoiling your face because you don't believe in the miraculous. You don't understand what I'm saying. Let me give you lamba. See, they might be small. See, yesterday, I just opened, I just sensed a boy here. Yeah. And he was paining me. I said, how will I be doing a bath conference? And I'll be doing hand like this, hand like this. So I carry my hand, I do lamba. Jesus, the bath conference, he it. He was paining me. I was hitting it. See, he's not paining me again. He, I don't know about you. Woo! That skin disease, God will cure it. That sickness that you cannot tell anybody about. If God truly eat na man, which indeed he did, God will heal you. Amen. Believe in the miraculous. Don't doubt it. I've, I've told us before, one of the craziest testimony and miracle in the Bible is the pattern of the Red Sea. Me, I will be the last to enter. Seriously. I don't like water. Eh? Do you know water makes sound? You will not be hearing blue, blue by your left, blue, blue by your right. In your mind, how many of you have been on top of the bridge? You'll be looking at the water, and the water will be telling you, jump. I don't know if it's <laughs> what I was saying, jump. You too, you'll be like, driver. <laughs> oh, you are walking, you'll be looking at the water. No, if, if that small river is calling you to jump, then imagine you walking in between such. If it's in this world, they will see an alamba. They will say in a lie. It did not happen. Are you get what I'm saying now? Don't allow people who does not know God define your God for you. Be careful where you are hearing about this God. Be careful. He's not just your God. He's your father. And he's the miraculous one. He can do the impossible. What does that mean to you? He can do the impossible. What does that mean to you? I don't know who that person is that have an impossible situation, that have an expectant. I said, God will turn it around for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Those situations will become possible by the virtue of the service. I know I'm not praying for you. I'm praying for people online. I say it will become possible Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Open your Bible with me. Let me show you a scripture. Job 42. Job 42, verse 5. Job 42, verse 5. Many of you have read the story of Job. From the beginning of the chapter, he says the Son of God and devil were together. And the Bible says light and darkness cannot meet. That when there's darkness, light, when there's light, what happened to darkness? Darkness flee. So how come devil and God are not having interaction and discussing somebody's life? Then it means that there's something about it that we need to investigate. And Job said, oh, God must have inflicted me with this sickness. And they were saying all sorts of things. But see, in the last chapter, in Job 42, see what Job said about God. He said, I have heard of you by the hearing of the year. But now my eyes have seen you. Please give me MSG media. You have it. MSG. It speaks a newer English, a modern one that you can hear, that you can understand. Let me give you so you can see the lamba. Are you ready for it? See what it says. He don't no verse five. Verse five. Verse five. He says, I admit I was lived by rumors of you. Now I have had it firsthand. So Job said, What? I have heard about God by what? By rumor. But now I have heard it firsthand. There is a misinterpretation about our God. People don't know who our Father is. So he said, I have heard of you by rumor. How have you heard about God? How have you heard about him? Who have been telling you about God, what he can do? What he cannot do? People even say God can kill. God can kill. He is powerful. He is mighty. Is that the right representation of God? Listen to me. 
Wait, please come outside. Let me show you something. This is a soldier. You don't have a gun, right? But look as if you have a gun. Do like you have a gun. You're not a policeman. Why do you like a policeman? <laughs> I say a soldier who has a gun. Can he kill you? If he has a gun as a soldier, can he kill you? Can he kill you? Because he's a soldier, right? That means he can destroy things. So a soldier goes to war and kill people. Right? A soldier goes to war and destroy things because they can kill and they can destroy. But is that the right representation of who a soldier is? Now, let me change the scenario. Bro, this is your father and he is a soldier. Is he a killer? Oh! Are you getting it in this service? He is a soldier. He has a gun. Can he kill? Is your father a killer? But your father is a soldier now and soldier kills. Why are you not saying that what? He is a killer. Don't allow people to tell you who God is not. So the fact that something happens does not mean that that is who he is. Are you getting what I'm saying now? He is not a killer. Who is he? He is a father and he is your father. Please go and sit down. Are you getting what I'm saying now? We must understand this. A proper representation of who God is. Can God kill? Yes. Death is the, is the simplest thing. For what is death? He can kill. But why will he kill? Please, let me, let me tell you now. Why will he kill? The Bible says, when you were dead in sin and in your trespasses, wait, you were what? Dead in sin and your trespasses. Why will God, God kill a dead man? I don't know. I don't know that. You are already dead if you don't know Jesus. Are you kidding what I'm saying, church? If you don't know God, you are what? So why will God kill a dead person again? He said, his will is for everyone to be saved. His desire is for everyone to be saved. Someone who wants to save everyone. How come he's the one killing people? Oh, are you kidding what I'm saying in this church? If you get this thing, your life will be forever changed. See, we'll be praying for a long hours tomorrow. So the way you will pray will change if you know who your father is. You will know. Some of you have been praying wrongly. You have been praying the wrong prayer. You have been having the wrong expectations. Listen, when my son needs something, there's a way he asks me. Tell you this morning, I was studying and I was praying for Preparing for school, and he came to meet me. He said, Daddy, our coding class, the practical starts next week. I said, Okay. He said, I need a computer. Am I getting it next week? I look at him, see the way he's placing a demand on me. <laughs> this boy does not know whether there's money or not. It is you that you are, the ethic is on me, it's not on. So, it is his job to do what? Place a demand. Have you been placing a demand? How have you been asking God? Do you understand? See, if I use this illustration, you are not getting this. I don't know what else I will use. Are you getting what I'm saying? Place a demand. Now, he has placed a demand. And my wife came in the room and wanted to beat him. And she, he said, Mommy, I just asked Daddy, for my computer. Mom, uh, computer, where do you need it? He said next week. And daddy said, okay. <laughs> okay does not mean you will have it next week. I don't know what I'm saying now. But there is already a demand. Instantly, my wife looked at me and said, okay. I said, yes, okay. Who have edict now? Is it him or me? Let God, your father, have edict on your behalf. Place a demand. Place a demand. He said till now you have not asked. Should I give a few minutes to ask? Should I give a few minutes to talk to God? Or I should continue my teaching? Or you are already asking? A smart person is jumping, asking his father. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Place a demand. Let the pressure be on God and not on you. 
Let the pressure be on God and not on you. Let the pressure be on God and not on you. He's your father. He's your father. He is your father. Place a demand. Place a demand. Place a demand. And you will see him out as a father. Who will not want his son to suffer? Who will not want his son to go into shame? Ask as a father, even as you are serving, ask as a father. You are listening to me online, you are driving, whatever you are doing. Ask your father, place a demand. 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 For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I tell my ministers in TOGC, don't be scared to pray for anyone. The pressure is not on you to heal the person. I know who my father is. <laughs> I have never been scared to pray for anyone before. No, my situation. The pressure is not on me. The pressure is on who? Is on my father who sent me. You must understand this. Whatever God has asked you to do, do it. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Do it. And you will see him coming out strong for you because the pressure is on him and not on you. Please, let me just teach a little. Are you getting blessed in this service? Is this the rebirth conference you prayed about? So let me do a little. Go back to Galatians 4. Let's go to verse 4 now. Verse 4, please give me passion translation. Passion translation. Galatians 4, verse 4. So the Bible says, but when that era came to an end and the time of fulfillment as what? Had come. What did God do? God sent his son for John 3 16. He said, For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. So I've told us that with that number that God loves the world. God loves the world. So he sent Jesus to die for the world. So Jesus was sent to the world. But the Holy Spirit is not sent to the world. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Jesus was sent to die for the world. But Holy Spirit is on earth now. But he's not sent to the world. He is sent to those who receive Jesus. So by the virtue that you receive Jesus, what do you have? Then you have the Holy Ghost. Are you getting what I'm saying now? How many of you are believe in Jesus here? Do you have the Holy Ghost in you? He's, he's a joint package. Do you understand what I'm saying now? He's not like MTN that tell you unlimited. Or they will tell you benefits. In fact, you will hear when I bought one data. Should I? Don't let me mess them up because can, I don't know. Maybe the CEO will be my member tomorrow. So <laughs> don't let me mess them up. But be careful of those. Uh, woof. Glory to God. He said, But when the era came to an end and the time of a woman had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born what? Under the written law. Next verse, verse 5. Yet all of this was so that what? He will redeem and free all those at the what? Off stage to the written law so that we could receive what? Our freedom and a full what? Legal what? what? As what? As what? Are you adopted? Are you God's child? Are you God's child? Listen to me. Is Jesus God's child? I'm trying to paint a scenario for you. Is Jesus God's child? So, did you walk on it? Did you walk on it? Listen to me. Go and read your Bible. Go read the Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. All that Jesus did as the Son of God, you can do the same. In fact, it's a greater things than this will you do. Listen to me. After this rebirth conference, you begin to do greater things for Jesus. Are you kidding what I'm saying? I say you begin to do greater things. You begin to walk in might and in power. Like never before. You begin to do the miraculous. God told me something. Right coming here. He says. 
Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. And no one could interpret that dream for him. In fact, no one. And the sorcerers came. He said, who can tell you your dream and the interpretation? He said, only the gods. Daniel 2. Daniel 2. I think verse. Daniel 2, verse 11. Let me, let me show you. Daniel 2. Yeah, verse 10 and 11. Daniel 2. The Bible says, he said, the chandeliers answered the king and said, there is not a man on earth who can tell the king's matter. Therefore, no king's lord or ruler, are you hearing it? Has ever asked such of any magician, astrologers, or the chandeliers this kind of question before. Listen, he said that what? It is a what? A difficult thing that the king requests. And there is no other who can tell it to the king. Except what? Except what? I'm not hearing your voice. Except what? I want to show you that the gods are here. Tell anybody the gods are here. <laughs> I can hear your voice. You don't know who you are. Let me show you. He said, except the gods. Listen. And he ended with something. Those dwelling in is not with flesh. That means this ones are they are not normal tied. I don't know. Are you kidding me now? They are not normal tied. They are not. They are spirit being. They are not born of the flesh. 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 Do you know what John said? Hey, hey, do you know what John said? Do you know what John said? John 1, let me show you. John 1, open your Bible with me. John 1, verse 12 and 13. John 1, verse 12 and 13, you will see it. John, he said what? But as many, as what? As received him, to them he did what? Pause, pause. Remember questions that we are reading now. That was why I came here. Adoption, right? To those that I received him, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have what? So when you believe him, what do you receive? To them, he gave right. Do you have rights? Do you have rights? Let me show you more. To become the children of who? Those who believe in his name. Listen, he did not pause there. I thought when he said this, then he ends. But there is more. Remember, those guys in Daniel said something. That no one can do this except the gods. This one, they are not born of the flesh. <laughs> they are not born of the flesh. They are not born of the flesh. What he says? Who were born? Not of blood. Oh! Hey! Hey! Is this your life? Who were born? Not of what? Not of the will of the flesh. Is it the people, the kind of people that those guys were talking about? Do we have them in this church? People who are not born of flesh, but of the spirit. People who can do the impossible. Are you kidding? Saying? Tell your neighbor, say, I can do the impossible. See what no man can do because I'm God's representative, because I'm God's child, I can do them. What man thinks is impossible, it is possible with me because I'm God's child. He said, Not of the will of flesh, not of the will of man, but of God. But of God, do you know who you are? Are you coming to that reality? Listen to me. I heard there is a curse in your family. I heard, I heard. I heard there is something that happens to every female child in your family. But listen to me. Are you born of the blood? Are you born of blood? Listen to me. When they gave back to you, you were born of that blood. But when you gave back to Jesus, your life may change. Are you getting what I'm saying? You must know who you are. You must know who you are. See, you go suffer till you die. You go pray till you die if you don't have this knowledge. Of what God has done for you. You will keep being a child. And you begin to enjoy what slaves are enjoying. Instead of you to be enjoying what sons and daughters will enjoy. Instead of you to be casting out demons. Going to your village and be delivering people. You too, you can't queue up. Follow that line. Say, I'm delivered. 
Say, I'm delivered. He said, I'm not born of blood. Come on, say, say, I'm not born of blood. Say, I'm not born of blood. Say, I'm not born of blood. But I'm born of the Spirit. I'm born of the Spirit. I'm born of the Spirit. No. That we are his what? That we are his children. And so that we will know for sure that we are his two children. God released the spirit of sonship into our heart. Moving us to cry out immediately. My father, you are what? I can hear your voice, George. My father, you are what? Is this man your true father? Is the creator of heaven and earth your true father? Is the one who sent Jesus to hurt your true father? Hey, come on, rejoice! Verse 7. He said, Now we are no longer living like slaves. We are no longer living like slaves under the law. But we enjoy being God's very own sons and daughters. Glory to God. He said, we are no longer living as slaves under the law. But we enjoy. Are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying it? We enjoy being God's very own sons and daughters. And because we are his. Because we are his. What can we do? I can't hear your voice, George. What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? I can access everything our father has. Is this your life? I can access everything my father has. That is why I said, as the need arises, they are met. See, Jesus had needs. But every need as they arise, what happened? He said he was in a place at a particular time. And people were hungry. He needed to feed them. There was a need. And he asked, what do you have? Five bread, two little fish. Then he did a lamba in this world contest that they would disprove on Twitter and Instagram and on your Facebook. No, those guys will not tell me who my God is. Are you getting what I'm saying now? They won't tell me. I am born of the word. So it's only the word of God that can reveal God to me. Do you hear what I just said now? Don't let anyone outside the word reveal God to you. That's why everything I'm teaching you, I'm teaching you right the word. I'm showing you in the word. Tell your neighbor, say I am born of the word. So only the word of God can reveal God to me. He said, for we have everything our father has. For we are the heirs of God. Tell your neighbor, we are the heirs of God. Are you the heirs of God? Then you have everything your father has. See, I'm not a slave. I am not a slave. I am son of God. I am son of God. I am son of God. Come on, rejoice and celebrate Jesus. Amen. Let me tell you one thing that this Gibbat Conference is going to do. It's going to light up every ignorance. Do you hear what I said? Every ignorance will be light up. Are you, are you getting something on? We we'll reveal Jesus to the world. We will be just in the word. Let me close and just share this with us. Then we'll continue from here tomorrow. Are you ready? Open your Bible to 1 Samuel 16, verse 30 to 17. I know you know this very well. You've heard it, but I just need to throw this light and then we close. So that we can just kill this thing, this ignorance thing. People will reveal God to us, but they are servants and they are slaves and they don't know who God is. We will not allow them. We will not allow them. 1 Samuel 16. Give me amplified version, please. Because amplified is the same thing, but he amplified it a little bit. Are you getting what I'm saying now? You can hear me clearly because there's a kind of amplified machine that amplified my voice. Glory to God. Yeah, Paul Samuel 16, from verse 13. Are we there? Are you in church with your Bible? Okay, I need to close now. Okay, so we'll not wait for these guys. So they don't go for and suffer our garries. Glory to God. In case you don't understand what that is, you are listening to me online. You are from Germany or Russia. Just inbox a seat to our account number. We will interpret for you. You will not post sand, sand in our gallery. That's what I said. So just tap it that way and proceed there and we would give you interpretation. First Samuel 6 for 13. He said what? Then Samuel took the horn of oil and said David in the midst of his brothers and the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon David from that day forward. And Samuel arose and went to Ramah. Next verse. The Lord departed from Saul. An evil spirit from the Lord tormented him and troubled him. 
Many of you have read this passage and they tell you, ah, an evil spirit of the Lord tormented Saul. That when you do this, ah, evil spirit, God's spirit, evil God, how can God have evil spirit? Ah. Oh, I don't understand. How can your father have evil spirit? Ah, God, evil spirit. Is he a car? <laughs> Just imagine it. How can God have evil spirits? He said he's the father of light. In him, there is no shadow of turning. There is no changing. The only thing God has to give is light and love and grace. Are you getting something now? The only thing God has to give is what? Light, love, and grace. Light, love, and grace. Light to shine into the darkness of your life and bring you out so that you can enjoy love and unlimited grace. Anything outside of that is not from our Father. Do you hear what I just said now? Anything outside of that is not from our Father. He said, he said, the spirit of the evil, of the devil from God. You know, Father said, please go back, go back, verse 14. I want to show you so you can see it very well. Give me amplified fashion. Oh, he said, the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul and distressing spirits. So, distress means an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. See, if you are being troubled, it's not God that is troubling you. God does not have capacity to trouble you. Are you getting what I'm saying? How can God trouble you? Is it a troublemaker? <laughs> a troubleshooter? Ah! It's just imagine. He said, an evil spirit from the Lord. They will put the Lord, capital letter. Now, pause. Pause. Does God have evil spirits? We will see it and we will know now. Next verse, verse 15. So servant said to him, Behold, an evil spirit from God is what? Is tormenting you. Pause. You will get the understanding now. In the Bible, Bible interpretation, I've first touched that number in this church. I'm going to just narrate it. God, in the Bible, God did what? God did what? God speaks in the Bible. God speaks. Angels did what? Animal. <coughs> Donkey of Balaam, did he? Nalamba, Nalamba, Nalamba. Do you understand? It's not, how can animal speak? It's not true. Don't allow them to tell you animal speak. So animal can still speak today. If it happened before, it will happen again. If that's what it takes for God to deliver you, I am open to all God's possibilities. Are you kidding me? I am open. I am open. God can use anything to bless me. I don't know about you. If Jesus catch fish, open them, see money, Nalamba, it will not work for you. I believe in the miraculous. I believe in the miraculous. I don't know what I'm speaking to in this service today. I believe in the miraculous. So, God speaks. Angel speaks. Animal speaks. Man speaks. By the will. But people speak in the Bible. Listen to me. Even servants who does not know God speaks. Now, listen to me. Read in that understanding. Who is speaking here? So, who said an evil spirit from the Lord? Who said an evil spirit from the Lord? Now wait. In Daniel that we read earlier. That he said. This thing is impossible. Only the gods. But is that true? Because that is what? Is knowledge. Is experience. So to him it is impossible. It's only the gods that can do it. But Daniel did. Ho ho. Daniel did. Daniel did. Are you kidding what I'm saying now? So right here, the servant of Saul, who is not, might not even be a Jew. They, may, they did not mention his name. He's not even an Israelite. He does not even know God's oracles and testaments. He does not even know how God delivered them from the Red Sea. How God delivered them from Egyptians. Those ten signs, he might not even witness it. Do you understand? So he never know God. But a disgusting spirit was tormenting that guy. The next thing that guy said, what? An evil spirit from the Lord. You, you carry it. It became your testament. Say, no, pastor has taught me better today. Say, I have been taught better today. I know who said it. I know who said it. 
So the same way on earth today, servant are still speaking. Baba now will be king there on social media. Do you know? And they are speaking. Atheists are on social media. And they are speaking. And you, you see it. You say, yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. Don't let anything outside God's word reveal who your father is to you. Have we been this? Come and stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. I told you that this year at conference is going to open your eyes. As your eyes be open tonight. As your eyes be open tonight. If there's one thing I know for sure, your eyes has been open to who you are. Your eyes has been open to who your father is. Are you, your eyes has been open to God's possibilities. And your eyes has also been open to know who the devil really is. Are you kidding something now? And the Bible says, if truly that we are heirs and child and sons of God. Galatians 4 verse 6, typically, he says, we have access to everything that he has. I want to give you a few minutes as we close to speak to God. I want to give you a few minutes as we close to speak to God. I want to give you a few minutes as we close to speak to God. We continue from here tomorrow, but let me give us a few minutes. With the knowledge of God's word that you have gained. I've told this time with that number. When you hear God's word, it must prompt you to pray and prompt you to take actions. God's word must prompt you to pray. Bring into remembrance all that you've learned, all that you've heard, and begin to pray. Begin to pray. You are son. You are son. Remember, remember, you are son. And God is not just God, He is your Father. You have an advantage. You have an advantage. You have an advantage. Hey! You have an advantage. 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 Because now you know who your father is. You know who your father is. You know who your God is. You know who your God is. He is the father of light. In him there is no shadow of turning. Hey, that is who your God is. He does not change. Same God yesterday. Same God today. Same God forever. Same God yesterday. Same God today. Same God forever. He walked in the miraculous in the past. He walked mightily in the past. Same God yesterday, same God today. Same God yesterday, same God today. He's walking mightily right now. He's walking mightily right now. He can hear you, he's your father. Stop doubting him. Stop doubting him. Stop doubting him. Stop doubting him, he's your father. He is your father. He is your father. He is your father. He is your father. Masata libo tolemo. Nila zata ta 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 ta. Masapa pa katalama. Le po 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 tole kene. Le zete lebo. Malia Zatali Gana Limo Zotolebo We know who our true father is He is a kind God He is a loving God He is a just God
so much. He says, you've been worried for so long and you felt these things cannot be possible. God said, by the fact that you're in this service, he said, I will do it. He says, that worry, that shame, I'm going to take it away. I'm going to take it away. Amen. I'm going to take it away. Amen. I'm going to take it away. Amen. For you to know how much God loves you. He says, in fact, you come into the service very heavy laden. So heavy. But God says, I came with you. He said, I took it off you. And it's never going to come back again to you. He said, those things that cause you to cry, you will not see them again. Thus says the Lord. You will not see them again. You will not see them again. You will not see them again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God asked me to say someone here. He said, that work I place in your hands. He said, it will flourish. Amen. Listen to me. He says, it will grow. Amen. Now, if you are a member of our church, you know that we don't give word if God does not say it. And every word that we give, we know that God really sent us. God said, that ministry will flourish. I yet loud in my spirit. He said, in the next 365 days, you will know I am God. You will know I am God. You will know I am God. Just begin to pray. A few more seconds. Just pray right now. Just pray. Let me give you a few more seconds to pray. A few more seconds. 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 For in Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Listen to me. I know if I say it this way, everybody go, they go say not me. There's someone here you want to jack back. No, calm down. No be you. Calm down. Calm down. This person will go now. That is the one. So you know it's not you. You want to travel out of the country. You have already applied before. And they have denied you. Now you have reapplied. God says I will do it. God says I will do it. God says I will do it. Listen to me. Listen to me. Two years ago, on our WhatsApp group, I used to declare Rebat Conference, but I did not do this year. I was deliberate about it. And I declared that this year Rebat Conference is open and this. And as I was chatting on WhatsApp group, I said, there's somebody here. See, you see. God says, even before this Rebat Conference will start, you will have left. We do not know. We do not know. The person of says, Gavin, See, on the day of the past conference, we didn't see the person in church. So we were like, the person now called after the fourth Friday service. I said, Pastor, I want to reach before I share my testimony. I said, You is she, she screenshotted the chat. Listen to me. Every year since that year, she has been partnering with the church. Your home too will come. Listen, I said that so you can know that if you, if you travel, you can become a I, you have not been partnering. I need to say it. So that God will not bless you now. You now become uh, King Kong. Uh, uh. Listen to me. Two years ago, we had a rebirth conference. 
and I told one of my sons, I said, God says it's this time. Listen, you are, he has been trying, he has been trying. And God says, this way you have been using is not the way. I'm going to do another way, a new way. That way has never opened. But from that day henceforth, that door opened. Listen to me. This year, the bad conference, he partnered with us so well. Glory to God. Listen, after partnering, then he said, P.I., I want to buy one of the clothes that you will wear, one of the shoes that you will wear for a bad conference. I said, this can only be God. So I'm sharing this extra testimony so that when you go, you will remember where God did this. God will do it for you. What do I say? Listen to me. One of you here, December this year, will not meet in this country. I don't know who that person is, but listen, he's not, you are not, see, you are not waiting till next year before you share your testimony. 2025, January 1st, is already done. He's 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 already done. Somebody came here with a letter. I don't know who that person is. You came here with a letter. God says, I have read through it. I have seen it. I have stamped it. I have approved it. Consider it done. Consider it done. Consider it done. Listen, as we are praying, listen, somebody is praying for job. Listen, listen. This one, this person, this person in particularly, so you will know it is you. You know, when we say job, almost people are looking for a better job. But this person cried while we are praying. So you know I'm talking to you. Cried concerning it. God said, consider it done because I have given you a good job. I've given you a good job. I've given you a good job. Come on. We need to close right now. Just celebrate Jesus right now. I'm going to give him the praise right now. Thank him right now. Thank him right now. Give him the praise. 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 Give him the adoration. Give him the adoration. Give him, give him, give it to him. 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 See, God is in our midst. He's in our midst. Please, don't miss service tomorrow because we are going to take this on another level. We will have ample time. Glory to God. The time given to me this night is very short. But tomorrow I have I have not good hours, right? For both morning and evening section. You don't want to miss it. Do you hear what I said? Have you been blessed? Have you been blessed? Come on, I'm not hearing your voice. Have you been blessed? Come on, rejoice! Rejoice! Glory to God!